What's up, everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970, and as always, I thank you guys for watching my videos. All right, guys, a little explanation. I haven't been around the past couple of days. I haven't been answering any comments or any emails, and as you can see, I haven't made any videos. So I wanted to explain what happened to me the past couple of days. And in the end, it actually is something that um, reinforces a couple of things I've been talking about. Um, back on Tuesday morning, I was on my way to my massage office because I still have that job and I still have a couple of regular clients that I uh, take care of on a weekly basis. And um, on the way there, I usually grab something to eat. It's just, I guess, a habit. But what happened was this particular day, uh, I'm not sure what it was that I ate, but it actually broke off a filling in the right side, right in here of a tooth back when... Um, I had a cavity, I think I was like 11 years old, and they had a filling in it. And I'm actually surprised it lasted this long, because I hear over time they do fall out. So considering I'm 43, and at 11, is, I think it was either 11 or 12, but it's irrelevant, I was a little kid, um, that it lasted that long. Long story short, I was working throughout the whole day, came home, and I ended up having a little bit of a fever. I just thought maybe I was working too hard, and I was tired or stressed out, so I didn't think anything of it, and I went to bed. Well, the next morning, I wake up, and the entire right side of my face is completely blown up and swollen. Um, you could probably still see a little remnants of it at this point. Um, I know what this is from because probably about 15 years ago, I had another incident on this side where, again, I had two cavities when I was a kid. And they put the uh, mercury-filled fillings into these teeth. And um, I remember I remember what happened. I was DJing that particular night, and there was a fight that broke out in the middle of the uh, bar. Well, the fight was getting a little clo too close to my DJ equipment, so I tried to keep people away. And in the process of that, I kind of got sucker-elbowed into the mouth, and it knocked out a filling. The next day I ended up, it was because of the fact that it exposed the nerve in the tooth. And if you've ever had an abscess tooth, that's from an infection that forms inside of a nerve ending. It can be fatal. So that particular time, like I said, roughly about 15 years ago, I don't have the exact day. I remember I ended up having to go to the hospital. I had an ambulance bring me there. And this might sound a little gross, but it was so swollen that they actually had to take a needle two needles worth to um, pull out the pus that forms. If you've ever had an abscess tooth, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they had me on antibiotics, and they basically said that if I would have waited, that you could actually die from it, because the infection can actually get into your brain, and you could die. That probably took me about a week, week and a half, somewhere around there, with all the antibiotics, like two or three times a day, just to get over it, and the swelling took over a week at a particular time. So the good news out of all of this now is when I woke up Wednesday morning and had this whole side of my face swollen, because the funny thing is I went to bed, it was probably around 3 o'clock in the morning, so there was no place open where I can get those um, temporary filling things that you could put in your tooth. So I figured I'd just get it the next morning, no big deal. Well, I wasn't expecting to wake up the next day with the whole right side of my face completely swollen. I ended up having a major fever, incredible amounts of pain, uh, this whole particular area, like I can squeeze it now, but it was like one solid mess. And um, I didn't end up in the hospital, didn't even have to go to the doctors. What I did was I drank plenty of water. I drank, and I'll show you, distilled water. I've been drinking that for a long time. I used um, hydrogen peroxide for a mouthwash combined with some organic, as you can see, organic coconut oil. And the only medicine I took was a couple of aspirins for the fever. And within two days, the fever and the pain went away. And it took the ne next day or two for the swelling to go down and all the puffiness to disappear. Now, like I said, I don't know if you can notice it now, but there's still a little bit of puffiness here. But, I mean, it was ridiculous. But I really think... Things like using organic materials, healthier materials, and my sun gazing took a part of it. Because the whole thing with the sun gazing, for example, and again, if you, and I'll say this all the time, if you don't know anything about sun gazing, look at my videos that I've done about them. Don't just do it on a whim, because you can hurt yourself if you don't do it properly. But what sun gazing I've learned does, it doesn't cure you and 
prevent you from ever getting an illness. Because there's bacteria, there are viruses, there are germs, you can't stop it. But what I've learned is my immune system speeds up recovery from any attempt at getting an illness nowadays that I've never had in my entire life. As a matter of fact, I've done this whole winter. Again, this is the second time in the past two years since I've been sun gazing where I, I haven't had any major asthma attacks. Now, to some of you that might think it seem like no big deal, I've had asthma attacks all of my life. I've never gone a winter without having major asthma attacks to where I've either been in the hospital or at least at a doctor. And those of you who've been watching my videos know that I've said on numerous occasions, because of my breathing problems since I was a child, I've almost died five times from walking pneumonia. And this year was the first year I actually attempted to help my wife shovel some snow with all the snow that we had going on earlier this year. And I didn't even need my inhaler. I always have one with me just in case because, you know, old habits die hard. But uh, to my amazement, I actually, for the first time in my life, shoveled snow without wanting to just collapse. So the sun gazing, I know people said, and they will continue to say repeatedly, that it is just ridiculous, it's just a joke, it doesn't work. Well, I've been doing it now for two years. I'm up to 39 minutes and I think 50 seconds the next time I go. It's been cloudy the past couple of days. And with this problem, I wasn't about to go out and do anything. I've been stuck in bed. But I've noticed it, the recovery from any kind of attempt to have any illness get into my body, it goes away without having to rely on medications, without relying on doctors. So again, if you've never heard of sun gazing before, watch my videos, check on it, because there's only certain times in the day you can do it. If you don't do it properly, it's like anything. It's like not being trained in a firearm. You could hurt, hurt yourself. It's like never driving a car and just just getting in one and driving in, into the city. You know, you can injure yourself, so you need to learn about this stuff. But the people have been making fun of it. I've been doing this for two years now. And my eyesight is still here, as you can see. Um, my health has improved. My outlook has improved. It's just the problem is there's so many cloudy days and there's only a limited scope of time frame where you can do it. You can't always do it every single day. So it's been longer than what it should have been. If you did it every single day, going from 10 seconds up till 45 minutes and you increase 10 seconds each time, it would take nine months. But due to the fact that you only, like I said, have a window, small window of opportunity at sunrise and sunset to do it, and if there's clouds just in that particular area, or it's just rainy or you know something happens that particular day, you can't go at that particular time, it's gonna take a lot longer. So it's been two years now, and right now I'm at the 39 going on 40 minute mark. But my body heals in a way that it's never had in its 43 year life. So I'm very happy about that. So whether people want to believe it or not, that's perfectly fine. I've been doing it for two years. Um, it doesn't stop you from getting sick, but what it does is if anything actually comes and tries to get you sick, like a, for me, a common cold would turn into an asthma attack, which would turn into a fever, which would turn into something that I would end up in the hospital for. Now, if I get it, it lasts a couple of hours to a day tops. And it disappears with nothing more than drinking water. And at that, and that's happened now. In the span of two years, I've almost gotten sick twice. Once was back in December of, this, of last year. And another time was when I was um, removing a towel from a leaky part of my basement that had black mold. And not knowing it had black mold, lifted up the thing, inhaled a bunch of black mold. And that night I had a fever. Within a day, it was gone. Again, black mold can kill you. The same with an abscess tooth. So what people want to do with their lives is up to you. If you want to rely on medicines, if you want to rely on doctors, that's your choice. I'm trying to explain to people by using these things myself of how alternative ways are just better than you'll ever know. It just makes no sense to most people, and it sounds crazy to most people, because that's what the mainstream media and the doctors who get paid millions of dollars to not cure you, but treat you, want you to think. So with that being said, I also want to talk about the fact that the last time I left off, I made my last video was about the fact that I was trying to decline the um, unlinking of that network. Well, this is the response I got. I just didn't want to say it so people think, oh, you're lying. But I got this from YouTube saying that they declined my request to unlink from them. 
So unfortunately, and that's that's a little disappointing for me because uh, when I was signing up, they said nothing about that, that if you change your mind, you know, they could potentially decline your request to cancel it. Um, I guess that'll help the people who have uh, been thinking about maybe getting a partnership, and that might be something that they might want to consider. So what's going to happen is, um, unfortunately, the videos that were already monetized are going to stay monetized. Um, I can't even delete them. I mean, without deleting the videos, and I'm not about to do that. That information is too important. But what I can do is any future video that I make, I will not monetize it because they have to be done automatic, you know, manually. So I'm just not going to monetize them. So any new videos like this one, you shouldn't see an advertisement because I'm not monetizing it. If you do, let me know. But again, there's nothing I can do about it. But uh, the one thing I can promise my subscribers is it's not going to change anything about me. Um, all of my important videos, like the 49-minute uh, video, the hour and a half video about the truth of the United States law and you, and several others are on my hard drive. So if they ever tried to shut down my channel or anything like that, I have all the information and I can always start another channel. I don't think it's going to get to that point, but I want people to know I will not sell out. I will not compromise. And uh, the truth to me is the most important thing. And that's why I do what I do. So with that being said, I'm going to stop this video and start uploading it. I just want to let everybody know that I am okay. Um, there's still a minor, tiny little bit left here that's just basically got its take its course. But as of a day, day and a half ago, I was perfectly fine. Just the swelling had to go down. So like I said, I, did, I had this happen about 15 years ago. I almost died from it, ended up in the hospital. They had to feed me antibiotics for a week, week and a half and use a needle to drain all of the pus out on, on this side. So, well, the moral of the story is it's your life. You got to live it the way you feel. And if you can, you could think the natural way is the crazy way, or you could think all the medicines that we've been programmed for the last couple of decades to believe help us is the crazy route. Because as you see, more and more people are going towards alternative medicines and less and less people relying on treatments that do nothing more than make other people wealthy by making you continually use them throughout your lifetime. And that's why even people that are having cancer are starting to look into hemp oil, natural herbs and medicines that actually do help instead of going for radiation treatment, which the last time I checked, radiation is poisonous. Not many people like to live in Fukushima right now. And if you've ever had an x-ray, you know they put that protective sheet over you it's not because it tickles you, it's because it can damage you. And you're paying money to take something that could help kill you to help fix something that is killing you. To me, that sounds crazy. But if people don't want to believe in the sun gazing because to them it sounds crazy, you're absolutely fine to make the decisions in your life to where you're dependent on medicines the rest of your life. I'm a prime example that I'm not immune now to illness but the way my body responds to a germ or a virus or a bacteria or any kind of situation has never been the same in my entire life. And I'm so happy I've done this. I'm not here to convince anybody to do anything. I'm here to show people the truth. And there are alternative ways other than what billionaires are telling you is the way to go. Make a decision in your life. All right, guys, I'm just going to go relax a little bit. My wife's getting ready to go to work. and. Um, I want to thank you guys for being patient and understanding, and I will resume videos next couple of days. I'm just going to relax and just enjoy the weekend and uh, see where things go come uh, Sunday night when the market opens again for the gold and silver. I'm going to be really looking forward to that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night, and leave your comments after the beep, and peace.